you are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Are you going to go high or stay low? And, you know, usually when they talk about going high, staying low, you know, it's like, you know, something happens and they say, no, I'm going to take the high ground and I'm not going to get with them or bother them. I'm going to let them go. And, you know, people staying low, you know, they're going to be on some petty stuff. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to be low about it. And but, you know, that's part of it. But it's a bigger thing with that, because through going through life. We come to numerous crossroads. Some are minor crossroads. Like, you know, do you want do you want to spend money on this movie or do you want to go hang out with this person? Those are minor crossroads. A major one is making a major decision maybe on who to marry, uh, maybe a property to buy or what to do, how to respond to maybe a loved one passing. Those are major crossroads. And it's easy to say always uh, go high, but you know we're human beings. We're human beings. You know sometimes uh, sometimes the petty might need to come out sometime. You know depending on the situation, just to back somebody off of you. But the question is not so much to always go one direction or the other, but when you get to that crossroads, which way are you going to go? Because what happens is every time you come to that crossroads and you make a decision, it leads you down another path. Now, that path could be good or bad. And for many people, it's bad. Many people make the wrong decision at a crossroads. You know, many people are like, you know, I shouldn't have divorced that person. They might say that. Or I shouldn't have took that job. And, you know, it might have been might have been something good or, you know, I shouldn't have been friends with this person or I shouldn't have let this person into my house, you know, mm-hmm. because it always leads to something else. It always leads to something else. Now, I would put it in these terms. Whenever you come to that crossroads in the majority of the time, of course, you should really go high. And what do I mean by high? It's not just taking the saying, oh, I won't do something like that. But the high road is the one that leads to heaven. And then not just in a moral sense, but the high road is the one where if you make a decision, it leads to greater consequences, positive consequences. The low road is the one that might give you a short term good feeling or something. Yeah, I got back at that person, but it leads to negative consequences. Now, one of the things with that is it's easy to say, oh, yeah, always just take the high road. But one of the things people have to do going through life is try to develop the ability to see past the initial choice. You know, it could be a technical thing where you pick up some books or something or you study something like you might make a choice. You might have a chance at a job. For example, now you could take. You know, going high, taking this, uh, you know, staircase to heaven. You know, you'll look at that job and say, okay, what else comes from this job? What's the stress? How does it affect my family? You know, you have to look at it when it's a major decision. You have to say, well, okay, who does this touch? How much time am I spending with my family? Is it taking something away? Is it doing something? You can't just look at it and say, oh, it's going to be great. Because on paper, for example, that job could look great. It could pay a lot of money, solve some problems. But then, you know, because you took that road, it could lead to some negative consequences. You could be away from the job more. I mean, away from home more. You know, it might be a critical time when your children might need you around a bit more. It might be a distance to drive. It's like a lot of little stuff. There might be some distractions, some road mines in there. And you have to always look at those things. You always have to look at those things. You have to look at the long term. Before, before you make a decision, you have to, you got to think five steps ahead. You have to be a chess player. You really do. You got to think, all right, if I respond to 
a certain way to this incident, where is it going to go? And I, and I really do mean that because I've seen instances where, you know, people might move into a house or something. They think it's great. But then long term, it messes them up. So the high road in this case is not just a, a moral thing, but the best long-term good decision. The low road is the one that take you right into a wall. <laughs> you know, that's the slide to hell. Like it might look good on a short term, but the long term is like, oh my goodness. And that's that. And, and like I said, it's tough. I mean, you have to do your due diligence. You have to look at everything. You have to question everything. You know, especially you get to the crossroads. Now, of course, we all come to minor crossroads and they can be corrected easily. And that's it. And also, that's one of the best things. No matter which road you go, you're always going to constantly make decisions. Once you make that one crossroads, you're going to come to another one and another one and another one. And you still have to make that decision. That's one thing in life. You're going to be constantly making decisions. You know, I'm making a decision I'd like to do this. You know, taking up a certain amount of time when I, you know, I could be doing something else. So you got to look at everything. You got to look at everything. So you got, when you're going high or you want to go high, that high has to be the best consequences, the best decision. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Think on what I said. Keep rising and transforming. Peace and blessings. Oh.